Hello everyone and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. It's been a while. How are you all? I hope you are doing well. I wanted to start off this video just by saying thank you to everyone who has watched my last video and who has left me a really sweet comment on that video. That felt really humbling. It was really lovely to read all of your comments about how long some of you have been watching my videos for and like at what point you joined, like what you love about my channel. Um, I didn't think I was going to get comments like that so it's just a really lovely thing. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for those comments. Today is Saturday the 24th of August. How on earth did that happen? Uh, and it's just gone 12.30. Thought that I would just do a little bit of a weekend vlog and update you on our kitchen renovation because things are happening. Um, but I've just turned my camera on and it's already flashing and like going flat. So I might quickly charge my camera up. I might have some lunch and then I will walk you through where we're at with our renovations. All right, it's been about an hour. My camera has charged. I've eaten some lunch. So now I can show you the kitchen. I'm trying to figure out what the kitchen looked like in the last like kitchen update video I've done. And I'm pretty sure you guys haven't seen a lot of the changes that we've done. So I guess the first change is also our new range hood. If you remember we had that other one before that was about that height as well but it didn't have anything like up against the wall. So this one that we've got will eventually have a piece that goes all the way up here but we haven't put that part on just yet because we want to tile um, like up to it as well. The old range hood that we had just went like straight outside so you can kind of see just here this is like the remnants of the hole of the last range hood but Nick has made a new hole if you can see that up where's my hand over there somewhere there um and that is where obviously like we've now got the air going with this new range hood and then we also got a sparky to come up and put in this here so this is like i guess kind of just like an extension cord it just means that if ever we need to take the range hood down it's not hardwired into the wall so it'll just be that little bit easier and all of this cable and stuff will get hidden when we put like the face plate on. We also got a new sink installed which is very exciting. I know it looks super messy right now and there's like dirt all over the kitchen but Nick was like halfway through uh, the job last night so I said just don't bother to clean it up because we're going to do a bit more this afternoon. Um, but yeah now we have a square sink and we also have a longer like drying rack which is nice. For comparison this chopping board was the exact same size as our previous sink so we've gotten like a lot more uh, space in the sink which is nice and also the sink is also deeper than our other one because the problem with having a round sink that was like this size was that some of our bigger like casserole and baking dishes and then also like our oven trays and things didn't fit in the sink so it just made cleaning it a little bit harder and it wasn't like as good as it could have been so uh, Nick was able to install this sink a couple weeks ago and already it's made doing the dishes so much easier which I know is like such a boring adult thing to say but there you go. Now we have a bit more room to do the dishes. We also discovered a bit more of this like funky old wallpaper which we've found in quite a lot of the rooms in the house as well. The reason we haven't been able to start the tiling yet is because we A got a new um, PowerPoint installed so when the Sparky came to um, hardwire this into the wall he also added in a new PowerPoint over here for us which is a brand new PowerPoint. Um, Reason being we have one here as well if you can see that it's kind of just hanging out of the wall at the moment. That side of the bench is where we have like our toaster and our coffee machine and um, our kettle and everything like that so we needed more than two power points. We just had like an extension cord sitting there which just looked really ugly. The tiles that we're using for our kitchen are these ones which is just like a plain white subway tile. We have used them uh, in our laundry and also in our bathroom and we wanted to have these all in our kitchen but we wanted the um, powerpoints to sit like in line with these so Nick has been fiddling around with the powerpoints making sure that they're kind of in line with the third tile up so that instead of having like a tile that we need to awkwardly cut because we've got like a portrait um electrical soccer I don't know I don't even think any of you guys care about this but basically we've been making sure that the powerpoints that we have will sit like flush in line with the tiles that they won't look too out of place and hopefully at a glance you hardly even notice that the powerpoints are there. So the green bits of jib are the new jib that Nick has put on when he has moved the placement of uh, these powerpoints. He's also done this one over here but he just extended the new jib out because I'd made a bit of a hole like there in the old jib when I was getting the tiles off. So he's just got this one to do and then yeah we can start tiling which is very exciting. For those of you that don't know we're going to tile all of this bit underneath uh, the cabinetry here and also the same on this side and then we're going to tile this whole wall so we're definitely not going to get it all done tomorrow we might be able to get like the first maybe like one or two rows done which will be all good and will definitely be like a good start the next clip will be me and nick tomorrow actually working on the tiles <laughs> It is just 
just about to go four o'clock and so far as you can see we have done the bottom two rows of tiles on this side and then also on the main wall and then we haven't done this wall yet we are actually heading out now we have a friend's birthday dinner to go to and then we need to go and catch up with another friend before we go out for dinner but we did make a little bit of progress today hopefully after the dinner because the dinner is early we might be able to make a little bit more progress as well but i think already it's looking really cool Okay, so it has just gone four o'clock on Sunday the 15th of September. The kitchen is pretty much done. Nick just finished doing all of the tiling um, a couple hours ago, so we still need to grout a bunch. Well, Nick still needs to grout a bunch. We still need to um, like seal all the tiles off, but I was too excited to wait to show you any longer. So this is what the kitchen looks like if you are standing in the lounge, and if you go towards it, you will see that we have tiled this whole wall and then we have the lovely little bit of tile uh, underneath that side of the bench and then we've also continued it all the way up to this side of the bench as well. I've just placed the top of our range hood um, there right now just so you can see what it looks like. It does have like a uh, plastic coating on it at the moment just to protect it so it's not actually going to be blue once it's done. But yeah, once we've finished the grouting and things then it can like extend all the way up to the ceiling and it'll look like that. I'm just so happy with how this kitchen has turned out. This I guess just goes to show that even if you don't have it in your budget to have your like absolute ideal kitchen or if like the bones of your house aren't there for your ideal kitchen you can still make it pretty darn close with different little elements. Swapping out all of the appliances in our kitchen for stainless steel appliances and then also adding the white subway tiles have definitely like raised this kitchen up in my books and I definitely I think I'm gonna enjoy being in here a little bit more which is good because I cook dinner in here every single night so I wanted it to be a space that I enjoy. So that brings an end to this DIY video. I will definitely show you like a proper reveal or like a proper little nice montage um, once we have finished it all up but that will still probably be like a couple weeks away. Um, I've mentioned this in other videos but Nick works mostly six days a week and we only really have Sunday to do not only all the DIY that we want but also like all of the other errands and stuff that we want as well so sometimes um, we just don't get to any DIY and sometimes we just don't make as much progress as we'd like because we have like a bunch of other stuff that we need to do. If you have made it to the end of this video thank you very much I hope you have enjoyed it um, and then yeah keep an eye out for more DIY and more house related videos coming soon. I actually have one already edited and all ready to upload so I might schedule that for next week as well so keep an eye out for that um, I hope you're having a wonderful week and I'll see you all later on bye